Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to take your S3 code and put it into JW Player so you can put it into a widget. Um, first off, of course, we need to go to S3 and we need to get the link to our video. So I'm going to copy that link address and then I'm going to go into my WordPress. And this is going to seem a little weird, but I'm actually going to add a new post. You can do post or page. I know it's going in a widget, but well, first off, we need to put it into a post so I can get the code. So I'm just going to do doesn't matter what you name it because we're not going to really post this but we're going to go to add media and then add external media and then in the external media area we're going to paste and click add to library then it's going to bring us all of this information and it's going to say insert with JW player now again I know this is going in a widget but for right now it's going on to a post because this is the code I need to get so all I'm going to do is I'm going to simply copy this and then we're done with this post. We don't need anything to do with this post so I'm just going to move the trash and get rid of it. I just needed that code really quickly so I copied that code and then after I trash that you can save it if you want but I'm just trashing it. Then I'm going to appearance and I'm going to go to widgets and in my widget area I want to scroll down until I get to the text where it says arbitrary text or HTML and I'm going to drag that over to the widgets area. Let me open my widget area here. So I'm going to drag the text over to my widget area. So here it is in my widget area uh, and then in the body area of this text I'm going to simply paste the code. And when I paste the code, I want to make sure to click Save. And once I click Save, we can go test it out. So I'm going to go click here. And I'm going to take a look at the sidebar area of my website. And there it is. So here's the video. Click there you go. Pause Sorry. there. Be sure to check out. Here's the video. And it's cut off a little bit. And that's fine. At least we know that the wi video is now in the widget area. So what we want to do now is we want to change the width and the height. No problem. I am going to simply put that information in. So I'm going to go back to my widgets. And in the sidebar, I've got to find that widget. Let's see, is this the right one? No. Here it is. And inside these brackets, right after these parentheses, I'm simply going to put width equals and a number and height equals and a number. Now, I can change these numbers, and it's totally up to you, and you can do this multiple times. So I can do a 200 by uh, 100, 320 by 180, I'm just going to do 100, and I, I can fool around with this until I get the exact height that I want. So I'm going to, or width and height. So I'm going to click Save again, and I'm going to go back to my website, and we're going to look back in the sidebar area, and scroll on down, and here is my tiny hey guys, little video. Here. Thanks for visiting my site. Be sure to check out. Quick pause. So here's my tiny video. I changed this, the width and the height. So. Now it's a little too small, so I would make it bigger. Usually for me, 320 by 180 works really well, so that's what I'm going to do. And that is how you put a video from JW Player into your widget. Let me know if you have any questions.